Have you ever wondered what could possibly be the most dangerous object in the world? To help answer this question, I want to invite all of my viewers to open up Google Earth and explore two very interesting locations, both found in Ukraine, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant and the ghost town of Pripyat. It is very easy to notice that these locations are abandoned and that something must have gone horribly wrong for this to happen. The town of Pripyat housed most of the employees working at the Chernobyl power plant. This place was ground zero for the worst nuclear disaster in human history and it is home to an object that truly seems to be taken out of a nightmare. Now, let's travel to Ukraine 29 years into the past. It is April 26th of the year 1986. Engineers at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant are startled by an alarm. The system is experiencing a power surge and an emergency shutdown has been triggered. But a lack of preparation causes things to go from bad to worse. The heat and power output continue to increase and the nuclear reactor begins to melt. The core of the plant has pretty much turned into a river of radioactive lava and it begins to flow through the pipes and corridors quickly eating away through concrete and steel walls. Eventually the lava cools down coming to rest in the bottom floor of the power plant and what remains in its place is a dark and monstrous mass which now goes by the name of the elephant's foot. Radioactivity is measured in regions, and to help us put things in perspective, according to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, 5 to 10 can cause changes in blood chemistry, 50 can make you feel nauseous and fatigued, 80 causes vomiting and hair loss, 100 can lead to hemorrhages, 400 can leave you in critical condition with a high probability of death. 1,000, which is a lethal dose, causes the destruction of intestinal lining, internal bleeding, and death. The elephant's foot was measured at 10,000 regions. No living organism, no matter how small, smart, or large, can survive a dosage this high. Following the nuclear disaster, 600,000 workers risked their lives by descending onto the site to contain the radiation. They succeeded in constructing a sarcophagus, an enormous concrete cage to seal off the radiation from the outside. Another group of scientists was sent to investigate the bottom floor of the power plant. As they dug their way through the rubble, the radiation detectors began going crazy. There, in front of them, was the elephant's foot. They quickly took a set of pictures only to die a couple of hours later. Almost 40 lives were taken within the first month and thousands more suffered from terrible deaths associated with cancer. Now, almost 30 years later, the wildlife surrounding this area still suffers from severe deformities and the elephant foot sarcophagus is severely deteriorated. Serious efforts will be made in 2015 to make sure the containment is restored.